So being a cheap imitator piece of shit, I too want to share my, let's say, extended two thoughts on the matter what's wrong primarily with the planet side. Now, be that lack of grace, eloquence or brown nosing, my opinions tend to be shrugged off as irrelevant. Yes, I need a pity party now. But aside from stupid bloviation on meaningless matters, here are some problems I see with the planet side these days, and in fact, in any days of the game being alive. Without many deviations, I turn your attention to my rants series, aka Yamik's poor attempt at comedy and shock humor. There, every year I make a list of 9 things I feel would be the most important things for Plantside to receive, be that a weapon, map or a giant turd like implants or bounties. Ok, sorry, I couldn't resist. Anyhow, every year, with the exception of my first list in 2014, the number one spot has always been taken by Global Goal. Why? Well, it'll take some time to explain, so get comfy. Let's start with the current state of the game. In every new patch slash update we get following things. Glitches, bugs, some balance that's inspired by reddit viners, <coughs> new weapons and very rarely a new vehicle. Then a day or three later we get a hotfix that actually fixes the patch. Good. Now, without that, an average planet man's daily life consists of following. Spawning into some battle, going out to kill someone, dying, respawning and then doing it again. Then, once the battle dies down, you move on to another base. Rinse and repeat. What's the fucking point? To kill planet mans? Well, okay, if you like that sort of thing. Sure. To capture a base? Sure, but why? Why do you need to capture bases? Because the stupid mission system that hasn't been finished is telling you to do so? Hmm, well, okay. Or to get those minuscule bonuses that basically do not affect anything. Or perhaps to capture a continent. Why? See, Plantside doesn't tell you why you should capture a continent or even a base. Yes, you can do that, but really you gain nothing from it. Sure, continent bonus is nice, but really it's there just so you have an excuse to capture it. At this point, Plantside is just a huge team deathmatch. 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 For example, in Counter-Strike, every map has its task to blow up something or rescue something. Once that's done, match is won. In Plant Side, you don't really have this win statement, this victory case. And yeah, some would argue that continent capture can be called that, but once that's done, new continent is unlocked, and in never-ending cycle and that feeling of victory just withers away immediately. Oh, now you have to do it all over again. Fantastic. Ugh. Frankly, I haven't led platoons like in forever, but this realization that capping bases is pointless, even capping continents is pointless, can be discouraging for any one leader. And then these leaders just think to themselves, am I just leading a group of people to another farm and that's all I really do? While in the meantime, devs just pump out more NS weapons. My fellow content creator Renzer already said this and I completely agree. We don't need new ways to kill people. We need a reason to kill them. We need a reason to do things in this game. For how long can you go around killing? What's the point? To get certs? Okay, then what? Buy more weapons? And then do the same fucking thing all over again with a slight difference? Tell me, do you know the definition of insanity? Even construction system is basically this. Sure, now you have something to fill the gaps between bases. But it serves no other purpose but to have new battles and to help lock the continent. Why? Again, I ask what's the point? Fuck, I sound so cynical or pessimistic or whatever, but really, it is. This game, seriously, can be boiled down to three words. Spawn, kill, die. In previously mentioned rant series, I mentioned the global goal. The thing that people will try to achieve in long term. Plantside doesn't need more stupid skins or weapons. We have too many already. I know this is how devs try to make a quick buck. Fuck, I know it too well. But at the same time, it's running the game into the ground. Saturating your game with one thing is idiotic. So, what do I even propose? Well, remember World Domination series? Well, some people do. In essence, this was a form of global goal, and it was fucking terrible. Execution and goals were horribly designed, and the system, it seems, was developed by retarded chimps. But to me, it served a proper example as to what Plant Side could be. Setting a different goal for each faction each week would put some meaning behind capturing bases, killing plantmans, or doing other things in the game. Just like 
World Domination series did back in the day, to an extent. I look at LE Dangerous and every week or two we have different community goals where people participate and depending on how many participate and what's accomplished and by the end of it, depending on your contribution, you get a reward. With these goals, Frontier developers from time to time also include some special rewards or even game world changing attributes, like creating some new stations in certain systems. In plant side, we could have weekly or monthly goals that would involve taking big facilities or winning alerts or even securing certain areas outside the bases with construction. At the end, winning faction could get something special. No, not XP or certs, better give us some real item instead. See, a real thing is more precious than a material certs or XP. Fuck, I still remember my black PDW that I got from World Domination series and I like it. Such attachment players could have to any items they give and the goals. And actually, that could motivate them too. But now, as is, plan side is just a fucking team deathmatch. With no reason to kill your enemy, capture bases or continents. All we get on monthly basis is a new weapon or a way to kill and nothing more. This is sad and no wonder people can't play this game for too long. It gets so repetitive so fast. And just to shut up some idiots in the crowd here, yes, making something as big as World Domination series or Global Goal is hard. It takes time, money, talent, imagination and skill. But I see only one of these in the dev team at the moment. Unfortunate, but that's my view. Yes, it's hard. Yes, it takes time and other things, but good things often don't come easy. You actually have to work for it and work hard. Frankly, I don't expect things to change for the plant side, really. Yes, it's a grim view, but looking at the past, what can you expect? More stupid weapons, camos or cosmetics? Sure, I would love to be proven wrong, but that certainly is up to devs. Uh, now, do let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, feel free to share this video around. Alright, and one more time. World Domination series was horrible, yet it taught us something.